Happy Wednesday. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I am a PhD student and I make a lot of vlogs about my research and sort of just like life behind the scenes as a PhD student. And I started this channel because when I was in grad school, I was just like, oh my goodness, I wish I would have known what I signed up for. So for all of those of you who are thinking of going to grad school, I hope this channel helps you. And for those of you who are already in grad school, I hope that this channel is a sort of community and lets you know that you're not alone in the struggle of it all. So this is going to be just a quick little day in my life because I'm actually leaving tomorrow to go on a massive road trip. Massive meaning long drives. I'm driving all the way down to Miami, which is where I'm from, and it's a 17 hour drive down and then a 17 hour drive right back on up. But my brother and his girlfriend are actually being kind enough to join me on it. The reason I'm doing it is for car stuff. It's a really long story, but basically I'm saving a lot of money if I get my car from a dealership in Miami, as opposed to getting it from a dealership up here. And my lease is up, so it's time for a new car. So it is already after 11 a.m. I woke up this morning and got after it with some dissertation stuff. My dissertation analyzes vlogs. <laughs> and so my work today was watching some vlogs and taking some notes. It is May 29th, and if you've been keeping up with the past two sort of summer writing sprint series or episodes, you would know that I had the goal of submitting this chapter by the end of this month. And unfortunately, yet again, we're not meeting a writing deadline. Deadlines are arbitrary. This is one that I sort of imposed on myself. This is one that I really wanted to complete because I would have it done and then be able to sort of like enjoy this week that I'm home and have fun on this road trip with my brother and his girlfriend. But say la vie. Basically, I had a very long weekend with a lot of unexpected things happening. I went to the Indy 500. Um, and that was a wild ride. Uh, can't say I'll be going back to it again. It is not really my seat. Uh, I'm more of a Formula One F1 girly. But I was just really busy doing a lot of just like personal things this weekend. So unfortunately I didn't get to write like I wanted to. I could send my advisor and I really thought about it. Send my advisor what I have so far, but he loves to get in the weeds and he gives me like line by line edits, which I know a lot of people's advisors don't do. So I really just want to send him something that's polished because I don't want to waste his time and send him something where he's giving line by line edits on something I know like I had to change that anyway. So I'm just gonna wait. It'll actually probably be good for me to take a week of a distanced break from it and then go back and do the edits. I haven't finished all of the writing. I still need to do my fourth case study, but I have a lot of notes for that. So I don't think it's gonna be too hard for me to write that one. I'm hoping to write it in like one to two days max and then do all the edits. Time for me and Megan to go get a little pedicure because it's kind of Megan's birthday today. I'm telling myself it's Megan's birthday because her birthday is June 2nd but I'm gonna be gone on my road trip then. So I'm telling her we're celebrating it today but she's not she's not having it as much as I want her to. <laughs> Done with pedicures and it's the pedicure to Target pipeline. <laughs> Back from Target. Oh my gosh I totally missed this whole part when I clipped up my hair <laughs> and we got a car but we didn't even come close to filling it i got these power crunch bars the s'mores flavor because i tried them when i was in st louis with zach a couple weekends ago and they're delicious so i love power crunch because they're tasty and i feel like they actually keep you like full like a bar should and then i just got some other random stuff drew me for the road trip uh this little like emergency kit i feel like this is good to have in my car a car perfume. This one was only five dollars. Also, no, never mind. I was gonna say I realized that it was like if you buy three, you get one free, and I bought two, so I should have just bought one more. But I didn't. I only bought one. Disregard. Uh, a car perfume to keep in my car. It smells really good. Vanilla bourbon, and it's also like a body and hair mist. And then just a little hand sanitizer. And Megan got some protein bars too. The Bear Bells ones, and just like some. He protected the spray and dry shampoo. But I'm gonna make some brownies, cause she wants a brownie. She's lurking around the corner. So brownies, cause she wants a brownie sundae for her B-Day dessert. I actually don't know if you wanted a brownie sundae or no, if Joanna and I imposed that on no, you. 
So, gonna make some brownies. Um, and then, unfortunately, I called my dad and was like, how imperative is it that I actually get an oil change before this road trip? And he was like, yeah, you gotta do that. So, I'm gonna have to do that, which means that I'll probably be late for our three o'clock riding group. Um, say la vie once again. <laughs> Okay, 3.30, all packed up, gonna go to Crumble for the Wednesday writing group. A lot of people have things come up, so it's really just me, Megan, and Joanna. And we're gonna chat about our proposal for the Four Seas Conference. We were initially gonna do a panel, and we still might do a panel, but they are part of a round table for one of our professors. And there's a no multiple speaking roles policy for C's just because they want to be inclusive and give everyone a chance to participate and present. So I was like, you know, just in case I'm going to turn my part of the panel presentation into like an individual presentation in case I have to like present this and fly solo. So I did that and I was like, you guys, let's just leave it like this. Why like make more work than we need to? So we're gonna chat about what they wanna do. It depends how badly they were wanting to present their work or their ideas, um, because I can relatively easily like shift mine back into being like a panel presentation. It'll just take some work and I'd rather spend time working on my desk right now, but we shall see. Oil change was really quick. Um, glad there was no one in line and I could just like zip in and out. And I'm gonna head over to Crumble. Exciting package. The publication that I submitted literally in 2021, it's 2024, three years ago, is finally released. Oh my gosh. It's That's so, so cool. exciting. Sorry, let me hold it. Not me taking away your moment here. You look first. <laughs> Let's, Let's see, see where I name. am. In this section on embodiment. Oh my gosh, I thought my name was spelled wrong at first. It's oh. not. That's me, 194, baby. Really cool. It's me! <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> it's me. That's exciting. That's super cool. The ice cream sundaes are pretty cute. Yes. <laughs> birthday to you Woo! okay it's later than i want it to be 9 45 and i haven't started packing yet why do i always do this because it's like a road trip and not a flight it makes me feel like oh we'll just throw some stuff in a bag and you'll be fine but like i still need to think about what i'm gonna want for the weekend when i'm there so first things first gotta fold all this laundry and folding while packing, you know, sort of makes it easier. Okay, suitcase is packed, toiletries and book bag is packed. Just need to put my laptop in there. And it is before 11 p.m. Skincare headband in and all. I am gonna end off the vlog here. This feels like it was such a random vlog. Um, it's always hard when I film a day in my life because that means that I need to film like a lot of content in order to make it like substantial in length, but I feel like I was like doing a lot of random things and sometimes when I'm hanging out with friends like I was at dinner or like we brought dinner here with Joanna and Megan it gets like hard for me to film because I'm like caught up in hanging out with friends um but anyway my brother texted me that he is going to get here at 12:50, like so almost 1 a.m but I am gonna just leave my phone on loud I'm gonna fall asleep because I'm already feeling pretty sleepy and I want to get like a lot of sleep before driving for 17 hours. 
So I'm feeling a little like for not having the chapter submitted to my advisor, but I'm telling myself it's gonna be for the best. This distance will be good, so then I can go back, just do this fourth case study and make these edits. In perfect world, I would have gotten the fourth case study done, taken some time, then done the edits, but it didn't happen. And I'm trying really hard to not be too hard on myself. I have a lot of ideas about it. It is about Katherine Manning as a mommy vlogger because she has really, really interesting meta commentary about, I don't know why my hand is on my tripod, that's weird. Um, <laughs> meta commentary about like what she shares versus what she doesn't share. So self-censorship and self-disclosure, specifically around her partner and other people in her life and her baby and she doesn't share her baby's name and like the angles that she takes are really like strategic angles. So his face is sort of cropped out. She doesn't do like really harsh blurs on his face. So it's like, this really non-obvious forms of self-disclosure, whereas like jump cuts in the way that I talked about them in my third case study with Kaylin Apple, like really let us know that she was censoring things and like piqued our interest almost more. Um, whereas this is like more subtle. And I don't know what that means for embodied awareness uh, or embodied hyper awareness, but I'll have to work through that. All I can say right now is like, this is interesting. Uh, and this feels noteworthy and this feels like something we should look into. Um, so I have a bunch of quotes from her videos. There's still like a couple more videos I think I want to watch. And then I'm really hoping that this break doesn't make me just like fall out of line with all my thinking. <sighs> anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I'll probably title this vlog a really random day in my life. <laughs> Uh, if you watch this one, thank you so much. This wasn't part of the dissertation writing sprint necessarily because I feel like I wasn't like grinding like I want that series to be. But I will in the next one. I'll see you guys when I come back from Miami and when I have a new car. Until next time.